Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. Let's take a look at the current chart for some of the major cryptos. Here they are. This is live trading. And this is for January 16th. And the market has already changed in terms of UTC. So this is a fresh trading day for Bitcoin, which was down technically yesterday down substantially but here we are it is trying its best to hold or maybe even break so let's take a look at the charts here I want to show you what I'm looking at if I were trading this for a swing trade in other words intraday trading or day trading I want to show you some things I'm looking at now take a look at this hourly chart for ethereum versus the dollar now you'll notice here that we made lower price lows and the RSI actually was a little bit more stable with the RSI showing an improvement oops so we can see here that the RSI seems to be holding in other words we had an improvement of the RSI while prices were making lower highs that short term is positive divergence which might set the stage for a recovery attempt in other words if one was looking for any place on the charts for an entry anticipating potential for upside move this is where you'd start considering this also we need to see that this hourly can move above the top side of this line if it can move above this line here then chances are that's confirmation that it actually wants to bounce otherwise failure to move above this line for example if we get resistance there then we might have to make lower lows now take a look at the daily this is the hourly take a look at the daily and to be clear again we are taking a look this is ethereum versus the dollar and i'm using the bitstamp exchange as an example here just want to show you that this is a movement on the rsi that we can use because after we moved above this range you can see how prices moved higher after that in other words after that price movement we haven't looked back we've been higher since so what we can do is take that information and draw our uniformity support line anytime we bounce on this line it should be good enough for a recovery attempt now you can see here double bottom support which is uniform action for the lows here and here before we get this move back to new highs take a look here is where we are trading so either this is big in other words either we find support over the next couple of days on this blue line or we break down below it and we see a continued push lower so in my opinion this is the battlefield either we find support or we break now keep in mind it so happens that this line is just above the RSI 50 level which means that this is critical area either we are gonna hold around and above the RSI 50 level if we hold expect there to be a recovery attempt if we break below it then definitely we can expect more short-term downside action now let me add here generally speaking if we hold this RSI 50 level with uniform activity for ethereum on the daily if this holds then what that is saying from a technical standpoint is that more than likely we are gonna test these lows or even break out above them as long as we hold above the RSI 50 all right and at the same time if we fail and break below and trade below RSI 50 expect more sharp strong downside action now this is also true for Bitcoin in fact most cryptocurrencies right now have the same look and feel now this is the hourly and 
I am using RSI setting of 26 so the RSI here I'm using setting of 26 so I can remove some of the noise now you'll notice the same thing here we move to fresh lows short term price has improved that is positive divergence which can set the stage for a recovery attempt all right so if I was trading this trying to find any reason to re-enter Bitcoin after this move here this is where you start looking for an entry now of course the first thing you would want to do is you'd want it to clear this level here and because this level short term it broke down here which was this movement we hit this level here in fact let's take away that stuff all this stuff so this is a critical level because to understand what needs to happen here is this break short term led to a sharp drop which is this movement here and then we get this price drop we can take that information and draw a straight line like that now you can see that we've come close to this line once before which is those hourly highs we tried again we failed with uniform action which is this hourly highs which means the only way Bitcoin can start moving higher is first and foremost it needs to move above the blue line the moment it moves above the blue line and starts showing some signs that it is gonna hold above that line that is where you can take a position that Bitcoin is due for some type of a recovery move to the upside good for a swing trade to the upside that might last a couple of hours couple of days we shall see now of course should point out that if you take a look at the recent short-term highs that led to this pullback so talking about this level here we can see where this comes from if you are looking at the RSI because there was a line that was pretty much being tested so let's take a look at that line and what you see here is there's a line here that broke so once we break down we get this movement lower right here which corresponds with this break what we do we take that line and extend it out should be something like that and you can see it comes and becomes back test failure here which is the hourly closing highs there once this is confirmed as resistance of course we know what happened after that we go into this spiral lower right because of this resistance which is that level there now there's one other line we can actually consider and this line goes back on the hourly to this point here and I'll show you why it's relevant because if you take a look at this line you'll see that once we broke below this line this was a technical reason for this break now what we can do is extend the same line it should be something like that and now the challenge is whether or not on the hourly Bitcoin can move above the black line once it starts showing evidence that it is moving above this line you can anticipate that this is a sign that it wants to recover for a swing trade to the upside so movement above the black line is also another indication of intent so if you see that once you observe that that is where you can take up a position in anticipation of a movement to the upside now let's take a look this is the hourly let's take a look at the daily and on the daily right now we are looking at Bitcoin doing its best to turn positive so this is a big deal right here so right now if it can hold and turn positive and start holding this level here and start recovering that might actually be confirmation of intent 
to hold current levels. I'll show you why. Because if you take a look at this daily chart and zoom out, so let's do that. Zoom out, it should be something like that. What you see here is that there is a movement of the RSI here, and that movement corresponds with price action right there. Now, since then, it has gone on to record substantial price improvement. Now, the, we're talking about this is at some point 2017, so last year in April, right there. Now, it might not seem like much, but let's go to that time period. So, let's go to that time period, and now you can see it here clearly. So, hold on, I'll I'll get this right. All right. Here, what we're talking about is this period here. This RSI movement right there. And that was in April of 2017. Since then, which is this RSI movement, of course, we know that the market has gone higher since then. So this was a critical entry. And I'll show you how it's relevant. Because on hindsight, since this movement, prices have stayed above this level which is the last time Bitcoin was trading under 1000 and this was just in April of late March of 2017 now notice what happens to prices right since then since this period here prices move higher substantially higher right now we're in the 2000s continue moving higher now we're in the 3000s back to 2000 now we're in 2000 there we go we start moving now now we are cooking now keep in mind we just left this level here which was what I'm gonna draw a line from here and show you how it's relevant right now and so we keep mo going 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 we're now in the 4000s back to 3,000, now in the fives, now in the sixes, in the seven thousands, back to five, now to eight, now to 11, to 15, to 20, and now here we are, all right? Now notice where we are. So we are trying to turn positive. So let me show you, bring back that low. So if you take a look at this line, we know that that was critical because that's the last time when uh, BTC was trading below 1000. Since then, it has seen almost a 20 fold, 20 fold price explosion. So, what we do, we draw a line from here, is my point. There is the line. Anytime you bounce back above this line with uniform action, that's a re entry. That was a re entry right there. Uniform activity bounce right here. For this re-entry and those were huge re-entries because after that re-entry you see prices explode again explode again why am i bringing this up is right now we are back in this type of situation if we can bounce back above this line with uniform action then that is where you want to take up a swing trade for a potential move higher right this method is what i call the uniformity method I'm going to include a link in the description of the video. All right, so if this turns positive around here, if the line holds, then if you're looking for a swing trade, that's where I would take the swing trade. Now, let's take a look at the weekly. Now, this is weekly for Bitcoin. Looks very messy, right? I mean, it's all over the place. All right, so that's what we have. But you'll notice something. You see this entry here, this RSI movement, where prices move above that level, which corresponds again to this period here. And we slowly start moving higher. Right? So we take that information, draw a straight line. Now, this is the weekly. We know that any time we bounce on this line with uniform action back above it, that's a sign that the market wants to recover. 
here again we test it with uniform action we hold the market recovers and again we can see on a weekly time frame this is the battlefield either we are gonna bounce back above that line as we did previously which is here here and here or this time we fail and if we fail and drop below that line that's gonna be good for a substantial increase and which means that we're gonna break the current lows and move lower so this is critical either we're gonna find support on a week-to-week -week basis back above this line so that's one scenario which is bullish which would mean a recovery on a weekly basis now if we find this support to hold that tells us that more than likely we might test the low the highs around the 20,000 level that's a possibility if this can hold just like it did here once it held we went back and tested the highs in fact we broke out above them same thing here we tested the lows went back to test the highs broke out above them so what I'm saying is depending on how it displays out week to week if this ends up uni being uniform activity it might even be something like a double bottom if that holds remember this is holding above RSI 50 if it holds that means that there's a chance it's gonna recover test the highs it might test the highs potentially even break out above those highs at the same time failure to hold above this black line week to week will suggest to expect substantially substantially lower prices which means that Bitcoin is gonna be trading well below the 10,000 mark if this black line does not hold so let me end with the daily for Bitcoin which by the way pretty much is gonna ref be reflected in most of the crypto charts right now day to day either we are gonna hold this line and start bouncing for a swing trade higher or this line fails and if it fails trust me there's gonna be more sharp downside Eric Mwadith Mwadith.com as always good luck peace and Blessings, E-R-C-S. Woo!